has come a long way this year. And everyone's hyped up about Mid Journey, but there's other AIs that could be cheaper and that could have better tools. Hey guys, I'm Zakuak, and I'm here to talk about three AIs other than Mid Journey. First, Stock IMG. Stock IMG is really cool because you can choose from different categories like book cover, stock image, and others. Let's click book cover. Here, you can make your own prompt like in Mid Journey, or you can click surprise me and the AI will make its own prompt for you. I'm going to type the prompt myself. I'm going to make this book about a guinea pig who can play soccer. Also, you can make a negative prompt, which basically means if you don't want something in your image, you can put it in the negative prompt and it will add it. For example, let's say I don't want any other animals on my book cover. So here we can put other animals. Okay, let's click generate. It takes a pretty long time to generate, around one minute or so, but here are the results. It looks pretty decent. So you can definitely see that it has problems with making the text. It's just a bunch of gibberish, but I've seen that with other AIs like Mid Journey for some reason. Another con is that the free trial only gives you one credit. This basically means you can only generate one image. This is barely anything compared to Mid Journey. They give a lot more. Here are the pricing plans. They're not too bad. For example, the starter pack gives you 3,000 credits and it only costs $19. That's a pretty solid price. By the way, these are the plans per month. There's also pricing plans per year. So the credit system is pretty similar to Mid Journey. Next, we have Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion is really cool because unlike Mid Journey, you can customize what style you want your image to be in. For example, retro, comic, or fantasy. Now you can also do this in Mid Journey, but you have to specifically put that into the prompt and it doesn't always work. You can also upload an actual image to create variations. Mid Journey also has this feature. Also, you can change how many images it makes per prompt. So here, I'm going to try this prompt. Oh, how I love guinea pigs. I'm gonna make the style, let's say, comic book. Also, I'm going to make the image count one and let's click dream. So here's how it turned out. That's actually really good. Also, I decided to generate one without any styles. Here's how it turned out. I really like this one. So stable diffusion is really powerful. Let's go over the pricing. The free trial gives you 25 credits, and every time you generate something, it takes a different amount of credits. And this depends on how much variations you make and other things like complexity. My guinea pig prompt with one variation took 0.83 credits. So the free trial isn't that much, but it's not too bad. Also, the pricing plan is not monthly. You can set an amount of credits you want and it'll show you a price for that exact amount. So you don't have to pay for the time that you don't use it. For example, if you got 1,000 credits per month and you didn't even use half of them. By the way, $1 is worth 100 credits, so this is a really good deal. And lastly, we have cray, cray -I, Crayon? I don't know how to pronounce it, but whatever. It's clearly optimized for web browsers. It's very simple, and you don't even have to sign in. There's no settings or extra features. It's just a prompt. The thing that's cool right off the bat is that you can turn your images into clothing, and you can buy it and wear it. So I'm going to do yet another prompt about a guinea pig who loves soccer. By the way, guys, put in the comments if it's soccer or football. So this one takes the longest of the three to generate. It's a little more than a minute, but it does make nine different images. I love the third one. These images are pretty nice. Some of them turn out pretty weird like this one, but for the most part, they're pretty accurate. Now let's talk about the pricing. Good news, there is no pricing. Everything is completely free and the images are amazing for a fully free tool. You can make unlimited designs, and I think this is what makes Crayon stand out. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you're a little more educated about the different AIs out there. And I hope that AI will not replace you on the job market, but make you cooler and more professional. That's it for today. Bye guys.